So out here we had the African section of the British Museum. Um, this is a place where you will find a lot of stuff about Africa, the history, and the things um, removed from Africa during colonialism. Um, yeah, so just follow me. Um, during the punitive expedition of 1897 by the British and the Empire, which is one of the foremost kingdom in Black Africa, a lot of them, um, artwork and carvings were removed and they were all brought back to the United Kingdom and they were in the British Museum. Um, yeah, right here from me are most of those works removed during the Punitive Expedition. And they're right here in front of me. If you doubt me, let's have a look. Right here from me is the head of Queen Idia. Yeah. I think um, this probably should be the most important artwork in the whole of um, the Benin Kingdom or Benin Empire, as it used to be called. Yes, an ivory carving of um, Queen Idia. You see the mask, ivory iron, copper wire, Benin, Nigeria, 16th century. This mask is usually identified with Idia, the mother of Baba Esige. Established a special place of Queen Mother in Benin society. It was probably worn around the neck, suspended from the loop on the top. This artwork, not really very big like a lot of people portray, it's not way too. I think some more or less like the size of my palm. Yeah, that's that one. And here are some leopards. Yeah. All made of ivory. All this was removed from the Bidding Kingdom during the punitive exp expedition of 1897. Yeah. And here are pair of bracelets. On ivory, we used to make all this. Yeah. And we move more to we move more to see more of the mini notes. Yeah. You see this one? All this are really new during the punitive expedition of 1897. When the British sacked the Benin Kingdom and, to, and moved all this to London. You can read about the punitive expedition of 1897 to find out more. Uh, I think I've got some more here. This one's quite large. Here, really large. Right, yo, go. So much plaques. So many plaques. So many plaques. You see? All plaques removed from the Benin Kingdom during the Punitive Expedition of 1897. These are all bones works. Bones works. 
Yeah. The Indian Kingdom is one of the one of the foremost kingdom in the whole of Black Africa. One of it. So many stories being told on this plaque as well. But I think some I can I can just sort of like think about, or the rest maybe not. These looks. These two look like probably the old bar or something. See all the stuff in hand. It's probably like a messenger playing a drum or something, beating something. Yeah, then of course I think this is the old bar, probably with the servants, right now, my boss. Yeah. This looks like a whole suit. Dust ball box look. So we quite up there can really get used to stuff. This very important since this is single Indian kingdom. This you know, I've been here several times and it's um, this sort of um, gives me a lot of pondering, you know, I ponder a lot about this, this um, sculpture or bronze casting doesn't look African as you can see, you see the elongated hair with the long beards and flowing hair and the skirt which is totally different from those of the normal um, Benin people or Edo people. So it gives me a lot of worry. I think this one will probably this one at the bottom as well. You see, these don't look African at all. So this looks very ancient to me, you know. What could they be telling us? You know, long hair, slender nose. Ancient Bini people have contact with a lot of people, people of different races. Yeah.
<laughs> Funny enough, the most important artwork of the Yorubas is just placed right on the <laughs> the Benin Kingdom. You see, right here. There's little history known about any other group in Nigeria than the Benin Kingdom. See, this is ahead of the yeah. I, did, I didn't do it. I just came here and saw this way. So, see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try that. Well, I guess people have seen a lot about the arts and arts from the beginning kingdom. I'm sure you can to run a lot of them. Yeah. So much to learn. You could go on Google, um, educate yourself more about all these things. I can't really say more. This is a quite historical thing, so I have got all the historical information myself. You could go Google, learn more. Yeah. Learn more. I'm touching history right here. See the plaques behind me, right now. There's no big plaques. Right here. There's a big plaque behind me. Yeah. Right here, show you one more. Peace. 